Hello, rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft locomotive tutorial. Today, we're going to be building the Southern High Hood GP30 locomotive. So let's get right into it here. As usual, I'm going to build it right on the front of the train I already have. So our first step is to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler and connect it up to the other train. Underneath that, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate for an air hose. Then we come up on the locomotive we already have and delete the first two fence gates on either side and replace them with dark oak fence and extend that out to be the connected air hoses and MU cables. Then we take out polished black stone stairs on the next block down facing this way and we need to get a row of five coming across the rails. Delete the ones you use for placement. Above that, a polished black stone block goes in the middle and then upside down forward facing stairs coming out two to each side. Now we put a temporary block on the corner here then an upside down forward facing smooth quartz stair. Delete the temporary block and replace it with a black stone slab. Then a polished black stone stair, a smooth quartz stair, and another polished black stone slab. Come around behind it and we're going to make this T-shaped pattern. Then down on the rails on each side we put an end rod. Behind that, a 5x3 of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the rails here. Then we do our wheels. So take out a block of netherite for the wheels and skip one back behind this. Get netherite on each rail with an end rod in the middle to be an axle here. Behind that we take polished black stone block and we make a 3x4 coming across the rails here. Then we're going to put upside down nether brick slabs, two of them facing that way and two of them facing that way on the outside. Same thing over here, two facing backwards and two facing forwards. Then we'll come around behind it here with our next set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to take dark oak fence gate, open them into each of the wheels on this end and then come around and open them into each of the wheels on this end. This will be our sanders and air hoses. Now we can take our polished black stone block and come around on top here. And we're going to fill in this top middle three coming down to the back of the truck. We come over where these fence gates are. And then we're actually going to come out one more row of three here. So three more, and then we come underneath and three more on the bottom here. On this bottom block on the outside edge, we're going to place outward facing, upside down polished black stone stairs in a row of nine. Once you've extended it out by nine, put three blocks across the middle, and then same thing on this side, upside down outward facing stairs in a row of nine to connect back up on this side to complete the fuel tank frame. Now we'll come back on top with a polished black stone block and we'll continue to fill in this middle three down to the end of the fuel tank here. Now we need to do our next set of wheels so skip a block back from this fuel tank and we need to get a block of netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a three by four of polished black stone blocks coming across the rails. On the outside Two upside down nether brick stairs this way, two facing forward. Same thing over here. Two upside down facing forward, two upside down facing backwards. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we open dark oak fence gate into the wheels on this end, and same thing, open them into the wheels on this end. Now we'll come back in on top with our polished black stone block, and we'll keep continuing this top middle three down to the end of this truck. We come out over where the fence gates are. In front of that, we need to get a five by three coming across to each side of the rails here. And then extend it out on this side as well. In front of that, we're gonna make a T-shaped pattern here and then an end rod down on bottom above each rail. 
then polished black stone stairs and a row of five on bottom, right side up, coming to each side of the rails. Then a polished black stone block in the middle, and then upside down forward facing, two on each side of that. Then we're going to put smooth quartz on each side on the top and polished black stone in the middle with a polished black stone slab on each side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out smooth quartz slabs to be our stairs to get on the locomotive here. And we're going to come in on this gap on the end of the middle on the side here. And we're going to put one on each of the three blocks coming up on the bottom hip box here. So three here, come over to the other side and do the same thing, three here. Then we have to do it on this end as well, so come down to this porch. Three on the bottom hip boxes here. And then three over on this side as well. Now we're gonna come on the side here with a hopper and everywhere there's a wheel, we put a hopper on the outside of the wheel. So hopper there and there, and then of course we have to do the other side. So a hopper in front of each of these wheels, and a hopper in front of each of these wheels. Then we switch to a dark oak trap door, and we're gonna put a row coming across the top of the truck on the outside here, going from wheel to wheel. Same thing over on this side. A row of trap doors going from wheel to wheel, across the top of the outside edge of the truck. One more corner to go, a row of trap doors here. Now we have to decide which end's the front, and my front end will be facing the void here. So we're going to come on the front end of the fuel tank here. On each side we're going to put a player head for a fuel cap, and then we're going to turn and put a sideways crimson sign to be a fuel gauge on each side. Now we're going to come on the side here and fill in the rest of this top of the fuel tank with a row of anvils coming down. Same thing on this side, fill it all in with anvils. This is the air tanks. Now we'll take out a chain here and we'll put a chain in that corner and a chain in that corner. Then we'll spin around and we're gonna have to crouch to place this one. Here I accidentally fell all the way down, so I had to come back up. So stand up here, crouch, and put a chain there. Same thing here, crouch, and put a chain over by that player head. Then we'll come down to the other end and work on that. So we have to st keep standing up here, crouching a chain there, and a chain on that side, and then a chain in each corner here. Now we're gonna take out black wool, and on this third block up, we're gonna come five across and fill it in end to end here. Now we come on top of the front end here with a black wool block and we're going to start in the middle two blocks in. So one here and then kitty corner to that a row of two on each side. Above that we switch to smooth quartz block and we fill all that in with a smooth quartz block. Then we keep coming up with black wool. So another row of black wool and then another, and then another. So it's five high, and fill in the top middle. Behind that, we're gonna come out kitty corner by one on the outside edge here. And we're gonna put a row of four black wool coming backwards. Same thing on the other side, four black wool. Then above that, four smooth quartz on each side here. Then two yellow concrete in the middle of each to be the locomotive number black wool on the ends on both sides. Then we raise up one black wool on each end on both sides. Then light blue stained glass panes for the windows. Above the windows, outward facing polished black stone stairs. Same thing over here. Outward facing polished black stone stairs. Then we can go ahead and fill in this roof of the cab with black wool here. Behind that on bottom, we're gonna come in by one, and we're gonna take black wool, and we're gonna make a row of black wool coming all the way down to the back of the locomotive. When we get to the polished black stone, one in the middle, and then we fill in the other side with black wool and a row of one 
all the way back up to the cab on this side here. Above that we switch to smooth quartz and we bring a row from the cab all the way to the back end. Come around the back and bring it all the way up this side back up to the cab here. On the engineer side here, we skip one block back and we're going to raise a row of two black wool coming all the way around. Come to the rear end and fill in the top middle blocks on each of the three rear end sides. Then we're going to come up behind the cab on the top middle and a row of three black wool behind the cab. Behind the cab here, we put a row of three sideways blast furnace on each side. And then we can fill in the middle three with black wool. Now on the back end, we take out bedrock and we extend this forward in a row coming eight forward. Same thing on this side, a row of eight bedrock. And we can go ahead and take out black wool and fill in this middle. And then we can also use black wool to fill in all this top middle three between the vents here. Come on the top just in front of the bedrock here and we're going to put one upside down backward facing polished black stone stair. Then one, two, three, four coming sideways and one facing forward. Same thing on this side, a forward facing one here and then four sideways facing ones and one backward facing. Now switch to polished blackstone slab and we're gonna fill in this top middle three above the cap here. So we'll have a four by three lined up with the cab and one in the middle on the front. Now behind here, it's gonna be five wide coming all the way back to the end of those blast furnaces. So extend it out on this side as well. So it's a five by four here. Then we're gonna come down on top of these stairs and we bring it back and skip the very last block. So bring it back to one before the last block. This gives us the GP30's signature home. Now we take our slabs right where this bed rack is, put one in the middle and make a plus shape. Skip a block and put a daylight sensor, then skip a block and another plus shape. There's three fans back there and the middle one's smaller. In the middle in front of those slabs we put a smoker to be the exhaust and then directly behind that another plus shape for the dynamic brake fan. Then we're gonna go ahead and take out a trap door here and we'll put a trap door in the middle of all these fans. Now we're gonna come up on top of the cab here and we're going to knock out this middle block here and the one behind it. And we're going to go ahead and take out a dark oak fence gate here. And we're going to go ahead and put them in there as the horn. You can have them that way or you can go ahead and put them back to back and open them. Whichever horn looks best to you. I'm going to use it this style. On the front of the locomotive and middle on top, hang a bell. Then, we're gonna go ahead and take out iron bars to be our hand railings here. And we're gonna come down here on front on the side of the plow. Start at the bottom and come up by four iron bars here. Then we're gonna come over by two and leave the middle empty, two on this side. And we're actually gonna raise each of these up so they're two by twos here. And then we can connect that down to the bottom on this side. On this side, we have to come up in total by five iron bars high from the bottom there. We'll do the same thing over here. So start at the bottom and come up by five. Now we have to fix our side here. So two black wool down here, and then take out your smooth quartz block and one up against the cap. 
we're going to knock out a column of two here to be a door. Then we'll come around and fix the other side here. So two black wool there and one smooth quartz there. Then on this side, it's two black wool on bottom and a smooth quartz on top. Now we can finish off our handrails here. So bring one iron bar over, one up, and then over to connect to the cab. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So over by one, up one, and over to connect to the cab. Behind the cab on this side, we start on the bottom of the cab, and we bring iron bars all the way down to the back. When we get to the back here, we connect it down to the bottom of the stairs. Then on this side, we come up by four, and then over two, and we make that a two by two. Skip the middle, another two by two here, and then out by one and connect it down to the bottom here. On this side, we bring it up by four, and we run that up to the front of the locomotive. When we get to the stairs, we come up one, over one, up one, and over two to connect. Now we're going to swing up on front of the locomotive here with a birch sign to be our number plate. And we're going to place it on the outside edge of the nose, and it's got to be one block down from the top. Put our locomotive number, 2613, and same thing on the other side. A number plate with our locomotive number. Then we're going to take out a ladder and run it up the left hand side. Now we'll do the same thing on the rear end here. So take out a birch sign, same thing, one block down from the top with 2613 on it. And then same thing on the other side here, another number plate. And then we run a ladder up the left hand side here as well. Come down below this ladder and knock out that block and replace it with black wool. And we'll do the same thing up here on the front. We'll come in below where the ladder's at, knock out the block, and replace it with black wool. Then we can put an item frame under this bell with glowstone for a headlight. If you want ditch lights, put them here on the iron bars with glowstone. Now we'll do the rear headlight the same way. So, an item frame, two of them on this end with glowstone for rear headlights, and if you want ditch lights, item frames with glowstone on these iron bars. Now we're going to take out black carpet here and wrap it all the way around anywhere there's nothing built on the end here. And then we can bring it all the way forward up to the cab of the locomotive on this side here. Just keep bringing it forward. When we get to the stairs, Go ahead and put it up on each stair too. Same thing here, cover the stairs, and then around the front, wherever nothing's built. And then up on these stairs. Behind here we put one, and then we're actually gonna go in and we're gonna take out black stained glass panes to be our blower. So one block behind it here, we fill with three black stained glass panes and actually I'm gonna make it four and then we're gonna rise our stained glass panes all the way up to the top here and we're actually gonna put them over these vents because this blower part sticks out on the JP 30 and now we have our blower completed Now we're going to come on the side here, and one block in front of that blower, directly above the smooth quartz stripe, we're going to knock out six blocks going backwards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Fill that with yellow concrete to represent the word southern. We'll have to do the same thing on the other side here. So we come here 
we knock out six blocks and fill it with yellow concrete. Now we're going to come on top of the locomotive here and we're going to switch back to our black carpet. And anywhere we didn't build anything, fill with black carpet on this roof line here. Just so it all looks coherent. So come all around in here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out a dark oak door. Put one in that gap there behind the cab and over on this side, one in this gap in front of the cab. And actually now that I'm looking at it, I'm not liking how light these iron bars look against the darkness of the locomotive. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase all my iron bar railings and I'm going to replace them with dark oak fans. I won't make you watch all of that, so we'll jump ahead. So as you can see, I've taken out all of the iron bar railings and replaced them with dark oak fence here. It looks a little better now. Now I'm just going and putting my ditch lights back on. You can change them if you want, or you can leave them as the iron bars. Now we'll go ahead and do our interior. So come on in the cab here with a block of cut sandstone. We're going to fill all this in so the floor is the same level as the doors here. And then right in front of that door as well. In the middle there we'll stack a column of two to fill in that gap. Come around back here and in this gap we're going to extend it out by another two and then a column of two behind it. Put an end portal in there to be a toilet and then a door. Swing around this way, put a block in the middle for a control stand. Two item frames up here with compasses for gauges, and we'll give the engineer two levers on this control stand. Then we'll switch to stairs, and we'll swing around this way and put two stairs to be the seats. And then we'll put a torch in the back here to light it up. Now our interior is completed. Now we need to make a window banner, so get out a loom and come into it here. We're going to take a black banner with blue dye, make the top half blue. Then, switch to black dye and put a black border around it. This makes our window shape. Now we can come up and put it on the cab. So on the front, we put a window banner here. Come around to the back of the cab, window banner here. Then we gotta do the other side. So one on the front here, and one on the back here. Now we still need to do the coupler on this front end here. So go ahead and take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler spin around this way and get it stacked up here till it reaches that second block up. Delete the one you use for placement. Then take out a dark oak fence gate and open two to either side in the plow. Underneath the coupler, put a sideways dark oak fence gate to be an air hose. And there you have it folks. We've completed this Southern High Hood GP30 locomotive. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.